Yeah. Please fill me with the real Kakodesh that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. Before we start, we'll read the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yahava is our power and authority. Yahava works in unity with himself, and you shall act upon your love to Yahava, your power and authority, your thoughts and mind, with your entire body and with all the muchness that you have. Amen. Proverbs 14. Every wise woman builds up her home, but a foolish one tears it down with her own hands. A person with upright conduct fears Yahava, but a person who is devious scorns him. From the mouth of a fool sprouts pride, but the lips of the wise protect them. Where there are no oxen, the stalls are clean, but much is produced by the strength of an ox. An honest witness will not lie, but a false witness lies with every breath. A scoffer seeks wisdom in vain, but knowledge comes easy to someone with discernment. Keep clear of a fool. For you won't hear a sensible word from him. The wisdom, of a cautious, the wisdom of the cautious makes him know where he is going, but the folly of fools misleads him. Guilt offerings make a mockery of fools, but among the upright there is goodwill. The heart knows its own bitterness, and no stranger can share in its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the upright will flourish. There can be a way which seems right to a person, but in its end are the ways of death. Even in laughter, the heart can be sad, and joy may end in sorrow. A backslider is filled up with his own ways, but a good person gets satisfaction from himself. One who doesn't think believes every word, but the cautious understands his steps. A wise person fears and turns away from evil, but a fool is reckless and overconfident. He who is quick-tempered does stupid things, and one who does vile things is hated. Thoughtless people inherit folly, but the cautious are crowned with knowledge. The evil bow down before the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. The poor are disliked even by their peers, but the rich have many friends. He who despises his fellow sins, but he who shows compassion to the humble is happy. Won't those who plot evil go astray, but grace and truth are for those who plan good. In all work there is profit, but mere talk produces only poverty. The crown of the wise is their riches, but the folly of fools is just that, folly. A truthful witness saves lives, but a liar misdirects judgment. In the fear of Yahava is powerful security. For his children, there will be a place of refuge. The fear of Yahava is a fountain of life, enabling one to avoid deadly traps. A king's glory lies in having many subjects. If the prince's people are few, it is his ruin. Being slow to anger goes with great understanding. Being quick-tempered makes folly still worse. A tranquil mind gives health to the body, but envy rots the bones. The oppressor of the poor insults his maker, but he who is kind to the needy honors him. The wicked are brought down by their wrongdoings, but the righteous can be confident even at death. Wisdom is at rest in a person with discernment, but in fools it has to call attention to itself. Righteousness makes a nation great, but sin degrades any people. A king shows favor to a servant with good sense, but his wrath strikes one who shames him. We'll end with the... Arianic blessing. Yahweh will kneel before you presenting gifts. 
and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahweh will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen.